Hey guys, in this video we have an external GPU enclosure from Razer. So this is if you, for, normally you'd use this if you wanted to game on a laptop. So if you want to do, if you want an actual real GPU for your laptop, you can have this, you can use this as an external GPU. Now inside this, there's an actual GTX 1080, like the same type of uh, GPU that you would install inside a PC. Um, and we're, we're going to open it up and show you that. We're going to remove this GPU and we're going to install it inside my uh, Linux workstation. Now, um, I actually picked this whole, see this is the back of the enclosure. Now, I picked this whole thing up. Um, I basically literally picked this out of the garbage. It was sitting next to the garbage can in the basement of my building where people throw things away. So, any case, um, yeah, if you open this up, you can see that's the actual GPU. That's, that's the video card right there the GeForce GTX 1080. Oh uh, yeah, this is the case, so I'm gonna throw that to the side. So that's the GPU, and you can see besides the GPU, there is a power supply specifically for this GPU, dedicated power supply, and a fan, and then there's a little board that it connects to to connect everything together, and gives you all the ports and stuff on the back. So anyways, we are going to take this thing out, and just pull this guy right out here, this is a little bit dusty, but not too bad. Now, um, yeah, this is it. This is the actual GTX 1080. And uh, so this worked pretty well on Linux. It's a little bit outdated at this point. So I'm recording this uh, in July of, I'm recording the voiceover in July of 2023. I actually installed this uh, maybe a month or two ago. But in any case, yeah, so um, I installed this in my Linux workstation and it works great for Minecraft. Um, it works with the driver that comes with Linux, but really you want to install the proprietary driver. That was pretty easy. I installed that driver. I don't show you how to do that in this video, but it's easy enough to do. Um, I might do it in a future video, but it, you can just quick Google the commands. It's super easy. But yeah, install the proprietary driver for good, smooth performance, and it works great. Minecraft runs nice and smoothly with this. And uh, yeah, it was a, you know, it's an, a, a good update from uh, the onboard uh, video card that is what I was using before this. So in any case, yeah, it's, it's a bit outdated, but an update for this particular workstation. Now this isn't the oldest workstation. Um, this motherboard and CPU are newer than the GPU, but, um, yeah, I just bought them without a GPU. In any case, so yeah, that's it. If you found this interesting, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, Probably not, no useful instructions in this video, just something interesting to share. If you have your own experiences with uh, external enclosures or with this GPU or, you know, video card drivers on Linux, you might want to share the comment down below. Um, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Uh, you probably want to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of other great content. We do 3D printing, networking, Raspberry Pis, robots, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, you know, basically all the operating systems, Solaris, uh, FreeBSD, all that kind of stuff. Um, lots of great tech content you won't, don't want to miss out on. So uh, yeah, do hit that subscribe button and uh, hit, hit the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when we actually do come out with new content. And uh, that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys on that next video.